Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Just going to have a look at this book and spend a few minutes talking about calculating pipe sizing. So we have a 400 kilowatt appliance and we have to find out what size of pipe we need in order to supply the right flow rate. As you can see in this book here, it says calculate gas flow rate, connect load, one kilowatt requires 0.095 meters cubed an hour of gas. So we just got 400 kilowatts that we have here and we times it by the 0.095 that is required per kilowatt. And we end up with 38 meters cubed of gas an hour. So that will give us our flow rate that is required to, to pro provide 400 kilowatt boilers with adequate gas. So that will let us know the size of pipe we need depending on our pipe run. We turn over the page and it shows you here, 65 mil will get us to those to 20 meters straight line of gas and give us this flow rate here, 65 meters cubed an hour. Yep, that will deal with our 18 meters. So now to add restrictions, there are four elbows. Approximate diameter is 65 millimeters. So in order to see restrictions for elbows or T's and so on, in our book here, it shows us, it's got T's here and so on, but this is our type of pipe work that we're dealing with, 65 millimeters, one meter worth of restriction for every elbow. So that's what we have to add on to our pipe run. So say for instance, we had 10 elbows, we no longer have 18 meters of pipe work anymore. We would have 28 meters of pipe work because that's what the restriction is causing. I hope you get my flow, get my drift here, what I'm saying. All right now, so here we go, four elbows, is gonna give us four meters worth that we have to add on to our straight length of pipe work and that adds up the restriction. It should be emphasized the above calculation only provides an estimate of the pipe diameter. For accurate calculation, computer software acceptable to the pipe manufacturer should be used. So I hope this has helped. Here's the chart. You look for the chart and then you can see, right, I have such and such, you do your calculation, whether it's a 200 kilowatt, 300 kilowatt boiler, and then you times it by the recommended amount for each kilowatt, which is 0 0.095 meters cubed an hour for every kilowatt. So whatever appliance you're dealing with, you times it by this amount, whether it's 200 kilowatts in total, or four or five or six or seven, and then you find out and you, how many elbows you have and you can get a rough estimate, but use a calculator if it is needed. All right, I hope that has helped you work it out. All right, I'll try to post um, one or two of these pictures, um, but this is the um, logic book that you can get um, from, from the logic company, um, the book company, and um, there are other companies with their charts and graphs and so on. Um, I recommend this one to you. All right, thank you. Until next time, bye-bye-bye.